hello. Thanks for joining us again. Sticking with us. <laughs> it's that time of week. Paint the plate. Where's my plate? Here. Let me see. What do you mean it's no good there? Cheers. Cheers. And um, happy Thanksgiving to our folks over yeah, in the States. Yeah, happy Thanksgiving. Hi, Jeanette. Hi, Jeanette. Jeanette, you should still be in bed. Jeanette was messaging Hi, me at quarter to midnight last night. <laughs> Really? <laughs> Was that necessary? <laughs> <laughs> right. Go to bed later than me. I was hanging at that time last oh. night. I certainly wouldn't be up. Oh. Not on your Nelly. Right. Take a look at this. Maisie's had a makeover. Does she look fair? Patchwork heaven. I love it. I've got a bit of touching up to do. Some... This needs another coat of pink, but the general idea is there. I'm going to just work on the, um, I'm going to do stripes down here today and then come when that's dry and come back and just touch up a bit yeah. really, but most of it is done. Hi Louise. You find that there with the did paint you get your paint pens, Louise? You? I hope you did. Should have got it today. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> it is fabulous. You're right. <laughs> And Mandas is even more fabulous, actually. Well, I don't know. No, I really love it. Well, oh, thank you. I've, I've really enjoyed doing it, actually. And I, I had a slight change of heart for the top because I was going to do all sorts of decoupage and what have you. But I've gone with the theme of um, using the base. And as I blended up the base, which you saw me doing last week, I've decided now to go the other way, starting with the, the fiery colours and going back up to my dark greens. So it's kind of all flows. It was as soon as you put the copper on, wasn't it? Or the, what, is it bronze? It's copper, bronze. bronze? Um, copper, sorry. Copper. As soon as you put that on, we were like, oh, I love yes. it. That's, love that, this copper and, and the it's, red. It's sort of hidden underneath, sunset. so we had to bring it back out again on the top. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. But, I'm going to yeah, use these colours together it's again. Pretty. I think. pretty. I like it. Thank you, Annette, for sharing. Yeah, guys, please share. Spread the love. I've got a needle She's here. Got a needle here. Pour up. You're probably wondering <laughs> what's going yeah. on. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. Brilliant. Who's that we got there? Oh, it's Louise. Yeah. And she's got my paint. She's, she's got, got a load of paint. Oh, coming. she was a winner. Well, fabulous. So you need to post what you what you're going to do with it. Yeah. Yeah. Probably yes. tag me in and I'll share it to my main page. Hello. Can you see? Tension seeking dog. You can just see the top <laughs> of his head here. <laughs> Turn around right, and say hello to everybody. Get down. Get down. Come on, we've He's got a bit needy. Yes, yeah, stop being so needy. We've got we've got a show to do. Right, so I'm going to lift off. this up here so that I don't have to scramble around on the floor. And you're going to talk about what you're going to do now. Yes. Well, let me just find the paintbrush I need. Okay. So what I what I intend to do, let me just talk you through this. What I intend to do is go in with, um, now that this is dry, go in with a black glaze. Because if you remember last week, where I've got all the sort of paper mache effect of all those napkins, um, it's left a beautiful texture. And I really want to highlight that and pick out that texture. So I'm going to go in with a glaze. And to make that, I'm going to use my um, scumble and just add a small amount of black to it. So it's not going to be overpowering. But before I do that, I need to seal this colour, these colours. So I'm going to go in with Fairy Chic Matte Finish. Yeah, just to seal it all off. I might need to pop outside and just give it some drying time, the hairdryer in between that. Um, but then I can go on with my glaze, you see, once that's dry. So that's what I'm up to. And you're going in with, you say you're going to do a white coat first? I'm doing white everywhere. And then I'm going to add some black stripes, which is easier. I think that's probably yeah, the right way around to do I'm it. Trying isn't to it? Do, I could even do them with the Sharpie pen if I wanted. That's what I, I used a black Sharpie pen to tidy up the design on the on the lampshade. Just go over the black edges, and I think that worked quite well. Of course, Sharpie pens are permanent, and won't. it's a bit more directional, isn't it? It's easy to um, with a pen. Yeah. Otherwise, you end up going over that and then going over again because you've made another mistake. We love a sharpie. So, haven't we been having fun this week with the canvases? It's all gone a bit canvas crazy. It has gone a bit canvas crazy, and we've got more coming your way. Can't wait for Monday. Yeah, we've got an exciting plan. We've got a treat in store for you for the Monday um, 
painting class. So get your big canvases ready. <laughs> we're going to prepare. What we're going to do is slightly different this time um, because I showed you yesterday the pipettes and we are going to be using pipettes. But we are going to be preparing the canvases ahead of time and that's all going to make sense because what we'll do is show you our prepared canvas a few days before so that you've got a chance to do the same if you wish to so yep. that you're at the same stage as us when we start because I was lovely surprised but actually quite a few of you were ready with and canvases and, and, and equipment and joining in and yeah. having a proper go and posting our pictures to us and just yeah. amazing a lot of you really getting on board and um, you know it doesn't matter which level you're at um, have a go have a go there was, there was some interesting pieces there and you know people were sort of admitting that they had a long way to go but it, they were willing to give it a try and um, I think a lot of people actually surprised themselves I, su you. I surprised yeah. myself hugely we came on a long way from Ed Sheeran <laughs> <laughs> well it couldn't get worse could it it could only get better <laughs> I, when you held it back up when I looked back at the video to go through the comments and you at one point you said let let me show you what Ed Sheeran is because like. yeah. I haven't looked at it for a few days now obviously she oh it's it been out. looking at me it's, it's, <laughs> it's like those eyes that follow you around the room we've had to hide in there but you know what a massive comeback from that it was almost from my point of view as the teacher kind of perfect that that happened made me look amazing <laughs> she moved on to such a higher level by the next week <laughs> yeah no i thoroughly enjoyed doing it too and it's it's inspired me now to do so much more i've got ideas going on in my head now um there'll be no stopping me i shall be boring you with all my painting yeah and we've got plans for the shop too here we're going to be Creating, we've just been talking about it, um, a gallery area. Yeah. To sell some of our pieces. I might even, I have, I have had some information about getting prints. Right. That, that that interesting. Well. Yeah. Yes. I'll, I'll talk to you about that afterwards. But yeah, I could also get prints of. Oh, that would be an idea. Stuff, which would be more cost effective. Yeah, I have gone down that line once before, a long time ago, but um, I found a better option for it. Oh, yeah, I'd be very interested in hearing about that. Yeah. So, Christmas presents-wise, you're all getting artwork. <laughs> yeah, yeah, whether you like it or not, <laughs> there's a portrait of, coming your way. You've got to get rid of it somehow. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I did think, I've been obviously trying to think of different ideas for the art class so if any of you've got any ideas by all means put them forward in the comments but I did think it would be nice for us to all work from the same picture so perhaps attempt a portrait proper portrait maybe a loose not a fine art portrait but actually if if I um, put on the Facebook page a portrait Yes. Of a child, of a, of a whoever, of my daughter even. She makes a beautiful photo oh, and does. I've got permission. Um, yeah. And then we could all print it off and have something to work from. And <laughs> George would be horrified. And all have, yeah, you can do your egg shearing version of George, <laughs> yeah. bless her. Um, but then we could all have a go at the same person and, and I can talk the process through of what I'm looking at and when I'm going back in and looking at it. And I thought it might be actually really helpful to have... A reference not everyone yeah. can just draw from their head and if we can practice drawing from pictures yeah we get better at it exactly and that's you know so I thought that would one be of the things that you would it's a skill that you would do if you yeah. were in an art class you'd be doing something all together and you've got the life uh, model sat right in front of you for reference to keep looking at and I mean when we went to art school there's lots of sort of talk about copying and so on isn't there but when I went to art school we had to do a, a Rembrandt piece, we had to do a Picasso piece, we had to do a pointillism piece, you know, we had Van Gogh piece, we, we had to look at the way other artists had studied and learned to paint. 
it's and we had to have a go at, we had to have a go at it, it and then slowly but surely you find your own path and find your own signature on it like Amanda and I were sort of coming from the same place last week and we have very different pictures at the end yeah but you could you could also see the link between them yeah, as well absolutely but there were our own personal take on it um, so, and again you know using different techniques I that like you found you know work better with with you with your style yeah it's um <laughs> it's, it's like your handwriting it is you know like i went Thanks in at one point much. with yeah pinchy washes um you know, using fingers and, and you were yeah. using um you know a brush where i was using a a, a, a scraper Such. and you know it's so yeah. it worked it worked but a picture that we've all got reference to i think we have already got plans for next week and they're exciting plans they are i think you're gonna love it i'm gonna love it that's for sure yeah um, um, but time? perhaps the week after i could source a, a portrait that i think is in good lighting done that I can put out and we can all print off them. Yeah. And it'd be quite nice to do something of, you know, different ages, um, as you say, just maybe do a, a, a man one week. Yeah. Because they've all got their own um, difficulties, I would say, things to sort of, you know... Like beards, <laughs> for example. Quite fancy doing the beard because that would just hide a lot. <laughs> just get hair on there hair and it'll and hide. <laughs> as long as it's covering the ears, we're all right. We're fine. <laughs> Just gonna let this sit a little bit. So it's, it's drying quite well actually. Have you seen how many colours I've used on this? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine colours blended up here. And um, it's hard to see because I know when I look at the camera, the top just looks very khaki, but it's not. There's actually. Can you take it in closer? You know what I can? There's actually one, two, three, four colours, five colours in this section alone blended through. Um, yeah, I think and it works really well. Really. You used your spritzer, didn't you? I used my spritzer, yeah. So I put on um, a coat and. Did you knock yourself out? When I come to the next. Oh, look, we were trying for ages. Oh, and it just came off. off. And it's just come off. On its own. Fancy that. Um, yeah, so between colours, I'd be spritzing and using a blending brush I was using. This one. She's spreading out here, girls. <laughs> She's got it all over the whole table. How much room do you need? That's because I've got... <coughs> oh, pardon me. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, right, so it's got nine pots of paint going on over there. She's got nine pots of paint. Nine pots of paint. I'm going to mix up pretty. some of this. Jeanette loves it. Jeanette loves it. Thank you. So I'm I going back in to tidy up my face now. Have you got any little bowls anywhere? Because I'm, oh. I'm, I'm, I'm totally unprepared today. I beg your pardon. I'm looking for, we, we didn't, did we? We came in and got chatting. We got chatting. <laughs> all sorts of ideas. All right, I'm just going to go off and find something. There was all sorts of ideas going on. We've just been gossiping, catching up, because we've only seen each other every day this week. So we had plenty to talk about. <laughs> right, got me press. I'm going back in with me pink. It does, it really shows, I mean it was quite an old fashioned piece to start with, both of these, and I think they really look quite modern now. Well this one is going to go in my house, it's just the right colours for my house. I've got a lot, lots of reds and greens You won't even on. guess what colours are in my house. Everything. Everybody always comes uh, to the shop and says, oh your house must be so beautiful because it's all pretty and shabby chic in here. But my house is not pretty or shabby chic. <laughs> it's frankly, it's, your house is It's shabby, shabby something. something. <laughs> shabby something, <laughs> shabby rubbish. No, it's, pitch your back. it's full of colour, because I like colour. Um, How can you bear to sell your lamp? Yeah, I'm not sure I will. It is quite me. It, it, and that actually would fit in her sitting room. It would look fantastic in her sitting yeah, room, real statement piece, wouldn't it? Because it hasn't got cable on it, but Amanda says she's got some cable. I have got some old, um, well it's new, but it looks vintage. So if your lovely husband could rig up yeah. the electrics, we'd be laughing. Because it is quite a piece, statement piece, isn't it? I need some form of... I'm going to feel like that about the writing bureau I'm working on at home as well. That's the trouble. You put your heart and soul into these pieces and then people say, 
Would you take 20 quid for it? I know! And that's then, like, so I insulting. Sold my soul for that piece. <laughs> 20 quid, that's what it's worth. But at the same time, that writing bureau you can use to do your portraits on. I can. So, so there's an excuse for keeping it, isn't it? But it was the idea that I would do something for me because I don't very often do stuff for us at home. It all goes straight out in the shop floor and sells. But it's nice to uh, th now I'm working from home as well for the evening lives to think about perhaps. I'm looking around my house thinking, hmm, I paint that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what if a sofa would fit in the <laughs> <laughs> In your new little studio. That was thought. And then, no, that would be terrible. Do you think I can put this on with my um, blending brush? I'm thinking that would work quite well, wouldn't it? I think you have to... I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> Starting a little area around the back with a... Yeah, just little areas and then get a damp cloth. You want a damp cloth? I almost feel like I want to put some water back. in it. Maybe you don't. I don't. No. But you okay. need a damp cloth to get it off quick. Yes, Mum. Yes. So what she's done is she's sealed it with the matte finish, which will basically... <coughs> protect what she's got underneath because if she was to put the scumble glaze straight on chances are it might stain all of it whereas this way she can put it on quite thick and then rub it back with a wet damp cloth and it should just fingers crossed <laughs> <laughs> fingers we'll crossed. try go just on the raised areas so she, she can leave it to just show so what I've done is I've, I've put some of the scumble glaze in here and the tiniest amount of black paint in there. What was your ratio? Oh, you didn't. <laughs> ratio. She made it up. It's a. It's just it a slop of this and a one to five. Yeah, that's right. It was one to five. One to five teaspoons. And I'm going to go in with with this brush because it's. I think it will just. Oh, oh. oh hold your breath. <laughs> Scary. Oh, that's too much. <laughs> Lord. That's why I'm going to watch now. No pressure. <laughs> I'm going to do a belly laugh. <laughs> Killed it. Absolutely killed it. I might have done. <laughs> right. She's killed it. Come on, then. Let's watch the magic. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's right. See? You know what we're talking about. <laughs> and breathe. Yeah. Show it close it's up. caught it a little, hasn't it? It has caught it. You can go back in as I well. I think I was being too cautious. We were very quick to get it off, but can you see the black just ran on the yellow, especially on the yellow bit? You can see it. So I think you could I now, think I can now sort now of go with, it. Go with yeah. it. Yeah, sort of rub it in a bit more. But we know it can come off. <laughs> <laughs> we knew all along, really. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Whew. Right, panic over. Half our life is experiments isn't it? Yes. Does that work? What are you doing? <laughs> now, Georgia I wanted to reassure you because you were so kind in sending us this paper. There's this new paper from Germany that Georgia purchased from us and we're going to be having a go at this to see, oh, look at these lovely pictures. These pictures are actually on the paint forum if you want them. So we've printed these off, Georgia, at the, <coughs> at the printers. So these are laser printed. And I've got my gypsy ones as well. So if you want to, oh, and the angel one, I think you've seen me do something with that before as well. So we've got a few, oh, oh, oh there's more, there's more. Oh, that's a nice one. So we're gonna have a go with these. And the idea is, if they work, it'll be amazing, um, is to matte finish them down to where we want to stick them and let it properly dry and then wet the back off and peel it back instead of rub it off. That's, that's, that's what it theory. claims. That's what it says on the box. So we're definitely going to have a go with that. And we're also going to have a go, probably do it as a, a little video maybe. Yeah, I think we should. Um, this freezer paper that you, you again recommended and I bought two rolls of that 
So we're going to have a go at that as well. I think you said print it off and then rub on the back with a spoon. So if that's different, Georgia, please let me know so that we don't completely mess it up. <laughs> but we'll try both at the same time and show you the results. Yeah, no, Georgia, I haven't tried it. So we're going to... This I'm going to print off on the inkjet because I think you said that was right, but this has been laser printed. So we've now got both to do. Yeah, we've had a good play with that. Um, so, yeah, we were going to do a sort of comparing image transfer techniques, weren't we? Yeah. With all them, because we always go back to the old rubbing the paper off. Cause but there's so many new techniques coming our way. That the stuff that you've come out with, George, has been amazing. So, so we want it too. We want it, yeah. <laughs> we want the good stuff. <laughs> So that's the plan. Now I was just telling um, Amanda before we came on that I had checked with, because my general knowledge, I have to say, is absolutely appalling. I'm I, surprised. I know what I know. I, I don't consider myself a stupid person. I don't. <laughs> Liz is laughing Liz, in the background. Liz is actually <laughs> laughing at her. <laughs> How dare she? <laughs> I've never heard a laugh like that before. I'm quite hurt. I, I don't. <laughs> really? She's <laughs> now. Cheek. Bloody cheek. That was funny. And I don't consider myself a stupid person. I'm fairly educated. Um, but my general knowledge, it's like I have this switch off button. Button. That if I don't, if I'm not interested. I just don't take it in at all. And I, I used to be like that in class, in the subjects I didn't like. I just switch off, not interested, daydream in a way, in the back. And um, so lots of knowledge has escaped me. Uh, whereas my husband, who's not particularly academic, not, not at all academic, has the most amazing general knowledge, knows everything that's going on in the world. He'd be good in a pub quiz, he wouldn't he? would. And he listens to the news, or I don't listen to the news. I, hardly ever. It doesn't. I don't know, it just doesn't interest me very much, and it ought to, and that's terrible. But so where were you going with this? Well, Your lack of I was asking about Thanksgiving, because I had no idea what it was representing or what it was about. And I asked Malia, I thought I'd check with her as my American guru. What's Thanksgiving all about? Is it Christian-based? Is it, you know, what, what, where did that come from? And she said... Turns out my son knew, my husband didn't know, which, oh. was, which was quite impressive. But um, before they piped up, I'd asked her, and Thanksgiving is in recognition of when the pilgrims first landed in America and claimed the land. And they sat at four o'clock, I don't quite know how they managed this, but they, they sat in the afternoon and shared dinner with the Indians. So I then pipe up. <laughs> Terrible. I said, did they, what, what did they have for supper though? Did they have curry? <laughs> and my husband was Indian. shouting at me, different Indians! <laughs> and I was like, I know! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I know. <laughs> so, yeah, my knowledge is just crap. <laughs> but now you know. But now you know, I've learned something. But yeah, because he still can't get past the fact that on one of my lives with Malia, I was asking if they had bonfire night. <laughs> <laughs> that did, yeah, that did it for me. I know. I saw you in a very different light after that comment. People were messaging like crazy underneath. For God's sake, it's an English thing. And Malia's looking at me like I'm a mad person. She'd never heard of it. Bonfires? Yeah, that was the Houses of Parliament. Yeah, and then I'm like, oh, perhaps it's an English. Yeah. Yes. Christ. <laughs> It's just general knowledge. General ignorance. <laughs> but general knowledge like covers a lot, a lot of knowledge <laughs> that I've missed out on. So I often say to hubby, like, how do you know this stuff? But he's got to the point where he's so convinced that I won't know that if he doesn't know the answer, he blags it. And he, he says like random stuff as if it's an absolute concrete fact. And then occasionally I'll call him out on it and go, you don't, you didn't know that, you just made that up. You've blatantly made that up to act like you know it. And he then goes, and then, yeah, then there's a confession and that's exactly what he's done. So you can't trust him. 
But as I said to you yesterday, I regularly walk past the local shops and I can then say, oh look, there's a new shop. I haven't seen that. It's literally on my corner. It's been there for over a year. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's a regular occurrence. Now, I have gone all the way around with my black and it's not caught it quite as much as I'd like. Um, it seems to have taken it on the bottom sections more, and, and, and more at the top. Oh yeah, that looks nice at the top. It does, uh, I'm really pleased like with that. the way it's, it's taken on the on there. We will turn to some dry brushing, but I don't think so. No. Try a little bit more on the lump. On the, on the more lumpy, the lumpy bits. Areas. Yeah, yeah. I think it looks lovely. It looks lush around the top. It I really put, does. I put another coat around the top and another coat around the bottom. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you try think? And pull it back. Yeah, I would. And tie it in with some round your carvey bits. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm, I am going to go in all yeah. the way down on, on there as well. Yeah, but I, um, I would just go in with another layer. Yeah, I think definitely around the top. And because what you can do is make up a glaze of white, for example. You can do several coats of different yeah. coloured glazes. You could go in with a different colour. Go in with a different colour completely. Just saying. No, absolutely. Because I used um, I was doing a piece of furniture at home and I had this this red, this lovely red of yours. But it was it was wasn't doing what I wanted. Wasn't sort of singing to me. So I went in with um, a copper on the glaze and it looked lovely. Oh, I like that, didn't mm. it? Could you do, you could do a copper glaze on that, mm. couldn't you? Have you got your copper paint with you? Yeah, I have. So, yeah, could do that. Is that Annabelle Duke? Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, the, the good metallics are fantastic. I agree. We sell lots. Now, I'm just sort of tidying up really here because, well, because I need to put them to dry. this top bit I'll let it sit rather than take it off each section I'll let it sit and then take it off yeah maybe sitting a little longer mm. hi Debbie Paul I sound just like your daughter what just completely useless <laughs> <things factual. laughs> who thinks they celebrate guy forks in, in America yeah alright <laughs> we don't have to keep bringing it up yeah yeah we do I can't believe I said that live. No, I can't believe it's, you said it's that on record. at all. <laughs> Fortunately, because I do convert these lives into um, videos that I put on YouTube, but fortunately that particular live was the one that was all going wrong and um, Malia was phasing in and out and so on, so I didn't bother converting that one because it was one. So it isn't on <laughs> fact, it's way down the feed, way, way, way. I thought you were going to say so you'd edited it out. No, I would have. <laughs> it's way down the feed. No one will ever know <laughs> how stupid I am. I might have to run down the feed and share it. That's uh, <laughs> really embarrassing. Really. Yeah, I was a bit embarrassed for you. Really. Yeah. <laughs> Just by association. <laughs> she could improve. I know, how kind is this? <laughs> this is what she came to work with yesterday. Colouring. It's a colouring competition. So she felt I needed a bit of practice. <laughs> I can even enter it into a competition. Yeah. You have to put your age on though. <laughs> Don't lie about your age. Oh, we've done that before with the pumpkin carving. Hubby gets really competitive with pumpkin <laughs> carving. And there's a garden centre quite near us that has a competition every year. So for years, Mark's gone all out. We are winning. <laughs> and he do, he's done some amazing, full people. We've made bodies, we've had garlic cloves as teeth. We've really? had chilies as eyes and hair sticking out. And it was like, fantastic. We had this sort of a monstery thing, all, all dressed up with his hand cuffed. And of course we won, cool. but he'd put next to it, when you had to sign in, you had to sign in under which age group you were, like under five, under 12, adult. So he's going 12. <gasps> really? <laughs> Mr. Rose! <Yeah. laughs> like, really? <laughs> there was no way a 12 year old could have done that, but we like, oh, got up the odds. And oh, then it became a bit competitive shocked. over the years because there was clearly another contender. 
and every year they were Another both grown there, man. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone else is wandering around the beautiful garden centre looking at all the Christmas decks and the reindeers and everything else. And there's Mark and this other guy standing guard over their pumpkin creations, <laughs> watching for any comments made about either of them. No, it's not that one. That one's rubbish. Really bad. And all you get out of it is a book from the garden centre. That's the prize. It's rubbish. He's not even into it's gardens. It's, like, it's not the point, It's, not, it's it? the winning. And then photographs that he shares with everyone and says what an amazing job he's done. Yeah, it's... Mr. <laughs> very competitive. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> Hilarious. I'm going to see if I can get another coat on here now. It's drying. It is so cold here in the UK at the moment. Oh, so wet yesterday. I have stupidly wet. No excuses for what I've got on today. I don't know if you can oh, see. I, I, I haven't even mentioned those. I don't <laughs> mention those. I've got pyjamas. <laughs> My fairy pyjamas. I got up this morning and I was just like, no, I don't care how stupid I look. Today it's too cold. I'm not having another cold day in the shop. Pajamas. Pajamas. And a hoodie. So I don't really look like me at all, apart from the red hair. But I think, you know, hey. I could have worn a pajama top. Then <laughs> you look like you were going back to bed. <laughs> well, I had a bit of a crisis this morning when I was getting dressed. Yeah. I don't know whether to share this or not. Um, yeah, it's, it is up before. <laughs> Let's just say I'm a little. Excuse me, hubby trying to ring me. Yeah, Should why is he better. trying to do that? Um, so yeah, I had a little. I'm a li bit behind with the laundry. So I went to find some clean pants. You didn't turn your knickers inside out. Did no, you? I did not turn my knickers inside out. However, I did go and raid my daughter's ah. underwear drawer, and I'm wearing my daughter's knickers. <laughs> well. It would be worse if I said that. And my daughter's, my daughter's 12, so they'd have had to stretch a lot. Well, <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Liz. Hannah's only 18 and she's, so she's, she's very ready. slight. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, they're a tad. Have you got a wedgie? <laughs> um, they're just a bit snug, shall we say. <laughs> Gonna have to cut them off. <laughs> you might have to. They're certainly cutting me off, that's for sure. Um. <laughs> <laughs> no yes. one's getting near Amanda's knickers today. Laund <laughs> laundry took this afternoon. <laughs> Actually, to be fair, it's, it's done. I just haven't sorted it out into yeah, who, you know, yeah, what goes yeah, where. Yeah, yeah. Could have been worse, I suppose, if I'd had my sons. No one else in the house sorts laundry. They all wash oh. it, they put it through the washing and the dryer. But nobody, upon nobody, and I've tested this to the hill, leaving it so it gets a bigger and bigger pile. Yep. So it can be literally this high, and still people will just go and take what they need for the day out of that pile, rather yep. than take it upstairs and put it away. That's what my son does. Unbelievable. Because he does his own laundry, um, so he'll, he'll you know, do the washing, then he'll put it in the dryer, and then he'll use that as his clean, pile. The clean pile. Yeah. yeah. And he'll just go in every morning into... <laughs> into the dryer and help himself yeah no no they all do, do that they in do my that? family they do that in my family it's so lazy i think my husband genuinely thinks that everything magically gets put back in the cupboards because mm. i finally stagger up with this basket the size of mount when i've held out and i just think i can't bear it anymore i've got to take it up right my fella can strip and rebuild a motorbike, but he had to ring me to ask how to use the washing machine. <laughs> I can believe that. <laughs> yeah, that yeah. sounds about right. Yeah, we all have our things, don't we, I suppose. Some of us more than others. Anyway, don't come to me for general knowledge. Yeah, I think we've established, we've established that. <laughs> <laughs> I think I would just flick it everywhere. I do like the glazing though. Yeah, I'm quite happy, particularly on this wood bit here, I'll show you in a minute. Because um, it is getting into the nooks and crannies. It's really nice. I wondered if, I need to ask Malia if she used um, 
black wax or black glaze on her beautiful red piece. To me, it looks like a glaze. It's lovely and shiny, isn't it? Mm. I will ask her. I don't know if she's on. I haven't seen her up here. No, she'll be busy, won't she? Well, she keeps promising me. She's putting stuff in. It's but Thanksgiving. Oh, it's Thanksgiving. Should we sort out the turkey? Yeah, she says she'll be in the kitchen drinking wine. For breakfast? Yeah. <laughs> she's, well, she actually said... Good on you, girl. She, she's cooking between 7am and um, 4 and then they all sit down as a family at four and eat, but this cooking goes on all that time. Flipping heck. I've done that. I suppose it's all right if you've got some, you know, other people in the kitchen there with you, chatting and... Well, you've seen the size of my kitchen. Glass, that just wouldn't work, would it? <laughs> it's tiny. No, it wouldn't work. It's the shape of your kitchen more than anything, yeah. isn't it? Because it's probably about the same size as mine, but mine's square. No, yours is bigger. You see? Mine is tiny. And impractical. But it is what it is. This is what yeah. you would cook then, isn't it? Yeah, I do cook. I like cooking. I don't. I don't have loads of people around for dinner. I no longer have a dining room table. That's quite a sacrifice, really, because when the children were little, I had quite a thing about we all sit down for dinner together. That's the one time a day yeah. we all catch up. We did. Ask how each other's days are going and so on. And it was good when we had the foster children as well, just as a routine. But um, I think families, you know, should eat together and sit together. Yeah. But it doesn't talk. always work out that way, does but it? it? Yeah, it's changed as we've had to change the usage of rooms. Um, yeah, but you've got a nice studio now. I've got a nice studio. <laughs> But I haven't got a dining room, so we sit on the sofa and eat. We've got used to it. It's okay, but yeah, it isn't the social thing to take. When you're a crafter, I'm sure most of you are on there, you, I did used to use the dining room table a lot to, to do artwork, and I said I'd have stuff out. I didn't want table. to pack it all up just so I could yeah. have dinner on the table. Well, that's how my table is now, and you you might have seen when we've been doing the the, um, the portrait videos. I've it's got this. Stuff. It's a ten foot table, for goodness sake! It's a ten foot table, and I have about two and a half foot to work on <laughs> because there's stuff. There's just stuff, and it, it it's beyond a joke now, and it's got to be sorted this weekend. Yeah. So that's my mission. Just need more room to work there. You just need another house, really. I need a bigger house, that's for sure. <laughs> or a proper studio with heating. Yeah, well, that's yeah. the trouble with your studio's outside, so it's yeah. cold. It's freezing. Yeah, at least mine's warm ish. I'm going right down here now. I can't, I'm kind of stuck for drying time, really. Just. Hmm. I'm currently in trouble for not clearing the table, but festive craft and prezzies being made. Yeah, well, Lily, I totally get you. Yeah, I don't. Well, I just gave up on the table in the end. In the end, it came to the point that the table was actually taking up too much room. <laughs> well, so is my table. That's why. <laughs> so I got rid of the table. I if just... anybody wants a ten-foot refectory table, yeah. just contact me, please. <laughs> I've dismantled the table. It's in the shed. I really like. I really like. It's going it's really, really just good the bright amount of black. I've just got to wait for this white to uh, dry. Because I'm going to just put black and white stripes up it. Well, we'll forgive you if you want to give it a quick blast. No, that's rude. Crazy road has exploded. Yes, it's that still was fun. Chaos. Was the whole the whole road is out electrically still. The other side of the road hasn't got any electric. Joking? No. That's just ridiculous. Took out the whole road. There's huge electrical fire. Did you find out how you know how it started? Well, it was or? underground. It was like the, the lid of the drain just like lifted up, and then there was this <laughs> noise. That's just of this electrical huge electrical really? fire brewing in the road. So pretty terrifying. And next thing I knew is, all I could hear while I'm in the middle of my live, <laughs> yes. was Mark <laughs> cursing his head off. 
um, running across the road to stop some idiot with a bucket of water. <laughs> <laughs> You say your general knowledge is bad. Yeah. You know not I, I to do that. I don't think I would. I'd like to think I wouldn't have done that. <laughs> I can't guarantee it. There are moments like when things like that happen, and he's like, "How ridiculous!" That I sort of ask myself, "Would would I? Do I? Would I have well, that? I, I don't suppose. know. You think fire, <laughs> water? Yeah, I don't know. I like to think, and then I and then I just think, "Well, thank God it wasn't me. I didn't make. Yeah, I didn't have to make that decision. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't my call." <laughs> Ooh, now I'm taking less off the base here, but it's really looking I like good. That. I yeah. love that. Loving it. So we're going to have to do a hanging it in the air, Jobby. Yeah, not at the moment. No. It's all right. <laughs> yeah, more, more on here. More on on, I, I think I need more here yeah, as well. Yeah, I agree. I keep being a bit of a Nelly with it. And... It's gorgeous. So do we think black and white is going to work all the way? Yeah. Or should I break it up with solid colours in between black and white? No. Anyone got any ideas? Too busy. Any ideas? Give me a suggestion. But Amanda says I should do black and white all the way up to match her head. I think if you go in with different colours, it's going to look too busy. Well, the top's busy, isn't it? Yeah. But well, that's the statement, isn't it? That's the. That's <laughs> you know. Come on. <laughs> she doesn't listen to me ever. <laughs> it's not true. If you missed my little pipette, these are the pipettes, the exciting pipettes. This is what we're going to be using in part. Next art lesson. But they're not essential to it, are they? To be honest, they're not essential. They're not. So you don't have to order, but they are fun. But you do have a thing about your pipettes. At See, moment, Georgia would do colours. Hi, Fiona. See, Georgia. And I say not. <laughs> <laughs> Need some orange on the base as well. Stripes. Yeah, I've done black on the base because Manda told me I had to do black. She's got very bossy about look can you see. It was green, but I've done black. Doesn't matter how bossy I get, she still don't listen to me. <laughs> well, I'm dilemmaing. Hi Helen. It's lovely to see Fiona that you posted and that you're feeling a little bit. Oh, Fiona! Back on that. Yeah. Hiya. Yeah, she's and she posted a picture, so she's starting to feel herself again. Good. It's been a horrible week. It might even have been longer than a week. Is it longer than a week? Oh, I keep it's thinking of a. It might have been about ten days. Pirate patch. Yeah, and she must have. Are you still wear, having to wear your patch when you Because if you're a pirate, you get to drink rum for breakfast. You see. Mm. Pirate law. There you go. She's got no appetite, but Aww. maybe rum. Rum, rum, yeah. yeah. That could bring you back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like that. I just... I, no, it I needs more around there. Okay. Yeah. There you go. I'm loving the way it's just... It, yeah. I want it to get it to hold You've in there You've got to try more. these glazes, guys. They're just great, because they're... I mean, this is there's different makes of it. This is Polyvine. I think um, Fusion do a brand... Um, I, I think Annabelle Duke do one as well, but I think there's quite a few out there. This is just one that I picked up. But you can mix it with any colour you want. So you can mix it with several colours. I, mm. You know, you could do white glaze over the top in the middle, like we talked about. You could do the metallic paint. And as long as you've sealed it first... Yeah, that's the important That's the part. important bit, is that you can just rub it on really quite liberally and then pull it back off with a damp cloth. And it just sits in all the grooves, so it's absolutely perfect for pieces with grooves. Get your groove on! And now Amanda's feeling brave, she's like going around the whole area now. Because I think, I think that's normal to just try a little section and see if you yeah. think you like it or not. I was being a bit of a wuss. So that you can save it by quickly wiping it off if it's like going terribly wrong. It's like anything, you've got to have a feel for it first, haven't yeah. you? Um, before you can sort of go ahead and see what it can really do. It is. I might go in with a with a very small brush to get in those knots yeah, there. It does say you've got about, I think, about 20 minutes to work working time so that you can, the idea is that you can wipe over quite a large area 
before having to go back whereas if you just i mean you can just dilute water, water down paint can't you and do this mm. you, you could do that but this gives it as it's, it's glaze it gives it that sheen yeah which is lovely i'm just dabbing this for now just to let it always test adhesion so it says test it and it does and you do have to seal it over the top with more matte finish yeah or gloss i suppose yeah, it says put it on liberally, create the desired effect by breaking the surface with a crumpled rag. So that's another option is to just like what yeah, so it's now, sort of it's dab in it. Yes. I've never done a lamp before. No, I haven't. I've been now we're dying to do these. Two really funky, completely different paint off lamps. Yeah, totally we're not, we're not styles, gonna have a we? boat. Because you, you know I, mine's better. Well, no, I don't. But I quite like yours. <laughs> <laughs> so I think, out, out of the two, I like yours. We'll it wouldn't call fit it, in my house. We'll call but. it even. <laughs> so, no patch. I'm just... Oh, she hasn't got a... Yeah, she's had surgery on her eye. Quite horrendous. Horrendous. <laughs> when she says she's just hoping it doesn't pop out, she's literally talking about her eye. Because at one point, they were holding it in and saying it was at risk of popping don't, out. Don't seize. Popping out. <laughs> F, F, S. <laughs> like, I can't think of anything worse. We were horrified, weren't we? Yeah. We, we yes. felt, I'm a bit funny about eyes at the best of times. But yeah, bless you. Keep it in. Don't sneeze. Don't breathe. Don't move. Don't lean forward. <laughs> lean back. Yeah. Oh, Just the sneezing I'm worried about. <laughs> I'm going to wash my rag out. You see my <laughs> Look at that. And mine. <laughs> How are we doing for time? No idea. Right. Not, too. not too bad. I, I'm sort of planning around here maybe. I think we might need to finish a little bit early today just because I haven't got anything to do. It's not like you. I know. It's just about waiting. You can always post the finish. Thing, Something you? interesting to talk about, have you? Um, no. What's the most exciting thing that's happened to you this week? What's the craziest thing that's ever happened to you this week? Um, nothing crazy, actually. Is that you discovered you were an artist? <laughs> well, okay. I've artist. always known it. It was in there waiting Lurking. to come out. <laughs> No, I've had so much fun with that. And oh, I tell you what, right? Black Friday sales and things like that. Yeah, all the all the deals are on at the moment. Mm -hmm. So I've treated myself to an easel. Oh, have you? Yeah. Trouble is, it comes like um, you have to construct it yourself. It's a bit like flat pack furniture. <laughs> so it's come in all these parts with loads of screws and nobbles and bobbles and bits. But it's already arrived. And you probably went to the shop to get it. Oh, right. yeah. Um, but I hadn't realised when I picked it up that it wouldn't sort of open the box and just go ta-da and spring out. <laughs> it's what I made earlier. Yeah. So um, <laughs> I'll be doing that later this afternoon. She just wants to look like a proper artist. I do. Well, I found myself the other day, I was standing to paint. I just found it easier. Oops. And I thought, well, this is the way to go. I'm getting a table one. I want to sit. I'm going to be lazy. No, I needed to stand. This is it now, we're in a competition. Now that you're usual artists. fashion, we've got to get all the equipment going out there, everything has got no, to be had. No, no, it doesn't. It doesn't. But I think some things I you do. really need to invest in. <laughs> <laughs> so I need a small brush. Are you are we are we um tied we are I'm are we we finished? I think off? you should show some sh close ups of yours. If we could possibly find a brush that isn't glued up. Yeah, can we possibly show? Can we? Can we possibly? Um, is it wet? Yeah, it is. <laughs> I can't find anywhere hold to sort of cloth. Hold on to. Um, I can show you mine. She's I will. Good. I will take some close-up pictures. I promise you. I don't know if you can see. I, what I really like is the stitching. I was going to do little hearts and things in each shape, but I decided it was enough. It was getting too complicated. But, and I went a little bit more on her head, a little bit more henery. 
couple of tears going on. But I think it's come out quite effective. It was, it, it was kind of like child art, really, like just filling it in. But as a whole, if you can see that, can you see that down there? As a whole, it's a pretty cool lamp. And I might well keep it. I don't even know how you begin to price a lamp. I think you should keep it. It's, I, I know exactly where it needs to go in your sitting room. It is chalk paint, yeah. Utterly chalk paint. I haven't done anything to it. I'd initially, underneath, you could spray it with water to sort of loosen it up a bit, but it feels fine. And I will just coat it with the matte finish or wax would go on either to protect it. So yeah, give it a go. Chalk paint's brilliant for fabric. Yes, yeah. As long as it, if if you get a gloopy thick chalk paint, I would water definitely it water it. Yeah. And, and water, you know, if you're doing something like this, just give it a spray first. Just a. But I didn't on mine. Mine yeah. is my chalk paint's quite runny as such. It's not very thick. You don't need to stir it up. It goes on quite smoothly, which is why I've had quite a lot of success, like using it as I've been using it for artwork as well. It's gone on really lovely because you can put layers and layers on. Yeah, it really works, doesn't it? And, and it mixes it up with um, acrylic paint as well, so you can add, I could have added acrylic to that as well if mm -hmm. I didn't have the colour in chalk. Acrylic paint goes great on fabric. And then I also used a Sharpie pen, which is like a permanent marker, to go over the detail and tidy up the lines. And that worked as well. And you can get multiple colour Sharpie pens too, can't you? I've got a set, yeah. I've got a set somewhere, so you could do it all in Sharpie pen. I'm just trying to, sorry, I'm just trying to, mind you, Red. <laughs> mind you, Red, love. I'm trying to show you, and the light's terrible, this bit here, can anyone see? That's probably in shade. That was a stunning bit, wasn't it? Yeah. I don't really want to take the, the, the top off at the moment, the shade off, because it was a bugger getting it back on. But it's, it's absolutely stunning here with the black glaze over the reds and bronzes. It's re I'm really pleased with it. But I will get close-ups. I think we need to do a larger piece with red and bronze. Oh, I feel it. I definitely feel it coming on. The deep, dark the, black. The, the Malia red. has definitely inspired us. Her piece was stunning. I want to do something. If you haven't with seen the... it, pop over to Mustard Tree Market and see her gorgeous piece. Th this part has just really inspired me. Yeah, that's the moment. That is the moment. <laughs> what? Thank you for sharing that with us. Thank you for joining us, guys. Please share the love. Share yeah. the share, 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 the video. share. That would be really lovely of you. And join us on Monday Exciting. for our class. Yes. And look out for the previous canvas because we're going to prepare the canvas yeah, yeah, ahead well, of time. So I'm working on mine already because mine's huge. Yeah, she's come in and said, "Is this your? This is my canvas, guys." <laughs> I think it's pretty big. Oh, it's quite big, isn't it? What's what's the size on that? What does it say? Twenty four inches times twenty. Uh, so sixty one by. 51. Mine's 100 by 100. So it's just greedy. Big. Greedy. Massive. I'll never get it done in time. Anyway, if you want to do big, if you want to do small, that's fine. Get it on and um, go big. Go please big. Please join me Saturday night, 7 o'clock. I've got me alarm set. I've written an American girl across the border. It's going to be fun. I'm finishing <laughs> off my bureau, which I'm Can't really wait. excited about. Yeah. Can't wait. Okay. Is there a live with me? Yes, there is. Saturday, 7 o'clock. Be there. UK time. I will be. Which is 1 p.m. US time, Kansas. That's the centre of America. Yeah. So you need to work out accordingly. But yeah, we're on at 7. We'll see you there. Thanks Bye. for joining us. Bye, Cheers. guys.